Chicken Hamster back with another video, and this time in person, because my last videos were with the uh, metal digital, you know, thingy on my camera. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, my um, hamster haul, and you can tell by the, um, the um, title that it's going to be a hamster haul from PetSmart. So I got five things in total, and um, so yeah, we can get straight to the whole five thingies. The category is going to be hideouts, food, and then toys. So we can just get right into that. And some of them are pretty big and some others are tiny. So yeah, let's just go straight into it. So the first thing I got for food was um, new food for Pika. So it's, um, this is backwards by the way, and I'm sorry for the lighting, it's kind of bad. My lamp is right here. Let me just get this right over here. And that's kind of bad too. Here, I'm so sorry guys for this lighting. It's like horrible lighting. Okay, you know what? That's good. So I got this Mita Crop Mita Smart food. And it's good for my hamster. She is prone to diabetes. And I can just pick out all the corn and peas. And I'm done. And it has only like... It doesn't have any seeds, which is good for Pika, and it's just basically chunks of stuff like that. So it's nice for Pika's health and stuff. So yeah. Then for her next food, it's not basically a food, it's like a treat thing, but I got this salt lick, and it's pretty big. It's about the size of Pika, since she's a Chinese dwarf hamster. It's what it looks like. It's like a wheel, a salt lick wheel see that in the light it's um like reddish you know good for wearing down their nails and for licking well salt i guess that's what they call them and um so yeah i got the salt lick wheel thingy so yeah i'll just put that right there okay so now we're gonna go into hideouts which i totally did the order wrong so who cares about the order now so we did food hideouts is next so i'll see you guys in the hideout section so the first hideout I got, I got this cute, um, what's it called? Natural wood dome. And it looks like this, if you can see in the light. It has a little door there. Here. Here, let me move my camera over there. Eek, that looks even worse, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. So if you can see, it has a little door right there. And it has a little window. You can normally climb through the window and not the door, which is unusual. But I guess that it's usual for hamsters because they're not really into the door window thingies. So yeah, I got this. And it's basically made out of wood. And it's a na natural wood dome. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't read. And National Geographic. It's by the National Geographic Company thingy. And so yeah, it's pretty nice and it's pretty big for Pika because of her size. So yeah, I really love it. Then I got this bendable bridge. This is the lounging log bendy bridge. And it can provide a tunnel. Nice thing. And then they can chew on the wood to make it wear down their teeth. And I just love National Geographic. Because they have like the best things that are like natural for your hamsters. So I got two of these natural things for my hamster. So these are the two hideouts that I got for her, and currently I'm using this as a, um, a bridge for her, because this is actually presents for my friend Rachel, so um, I didn't want to send this out too early so that she could see it, but she doesn't know of my account yet, so um, that's a good thing. So here we go, and also this is for her too, so yeah, two things, so currently they're inside. Because currently my cage is like this, and then with this going like that to connect to her food and water platform. So yeah, so I have changed my cage up since the last video, and I'm cleaning it tomorrow. So there's Pika's in a lot of stress right now because of all the changes. So um, she's going to have a good two weeks to relax after I change and get used to every the changes and stuff. So yeah, now to the toy that I got her. Um, very interesting kind of toy, and yeah, it's also for Rachel too, so if Rachel's watching this after her birthday, well then, surprise, surprise, Rachel. Yeah, so for the toy, I got this flying saucer. Now, it's pretty small, 
but um, I thought that it would be good for, I also got one for Pika, so it's currently inside of Pika's cage, um, and it's this flying saucer, so as you can see, like that, and it's about as big as my hand, if you put it onto my hand, or it's a little, it's probably, it's bigger than my hand, but it's, it's nice, and it's a good size for Pika, Chinese dwarf hamsters, and a dwarf hamster. It says, ideal for gerbils, dwarf hamsters, and mice. So, yeah, for ideal for all of those. They had a bigger size, and I really wanted that size, but I guess we couldn't get it because it wouldn't fit in her cage properly. So we just got this kind, and there were two left, so I bought two. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching that video on my hamster haul from PetSmart. And um, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll give you an overview of all my, um, all the stuff that I bought, basically. And you can get to see it, overview, if you, like, didn't catch any. But, of course, you can just go back into YouTube and look it up again. But still, just in case, you know, just, this is what it looks like if you didn't see it properly. So, I'll see you guys next week. Or tomorrow, or in a million years. Bye! this video, I'm going to be showing you how I buy the subtitle, um, buy the subtitle, buy the title, oh god, that was horrible. Okay, hi guys, this is Ham. I mean, this is, um, what's my name? Pocket, okay, never mind.